Welcome back, first timers. We're back to a location that we've been to before, but this time we're not just walking the pier, we're fishing the pier. Today we're fishing off Island Pier located on Okaloosa Island. Formerly known as the Okaloosa Island Pier. And we're ready to catch a big old fish. And if we catch anything, we're gonna take it right next door to anglers who will prep the fish, cook it, and give us two sides for $13.99 a pound. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna catch anything, but we'll see. <laughs> it's a foggy and hazy Friday and there's chance for thunderstorms and lightning. So we're gonna make light work of this pier, catch all we can catch and get on to eating. We made it through the instruction portion of this party. We have our reels, we have our bait, we have our hooks, but there's a lot to cover. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and summarize it so you guys get all the details. Shark fishing is completely illegal in this county. So if you hook a shark, you gotta let the line break and the shark go away. No shark fishing here. Also stingrays, if you hook a stingray, they're not gonna help you get it up to the pier. You're gonna have to walk it out to the beach and then beach it yourself. So really essentially you're gonna wanna let those ones go also. If there's something big, you can go get help and they'll bring a net and they'll help you bring it up. If it's small enough, you do it yourself. So they have everything you need here to go fishing. You just gotta pay for it. They have the reels, the rods, the bait. For us to fish, it was $8 per person and then it was $30 to rent a rod per person. Then the bait was- $6 for the shrimp. And if you break a line or lose a hook, you get two free replacements while you're fishing. They also offer military discount. And if you just wanna walk and watch, it's like $2. We're gonna bait these hooks, get them in the water and see if we can catch anything. If you're looking for a pier walking tour, then we'll link that video right here where we walk this pier. We gave you a history of it, background. We also checked out the area over here at the boardwalk, but today, is not the day for that. We are out here searching for the big one. We're hoping to capture never before seen sea creatures and then eat them. Beware of the birds because they're known to steal your bait. You don't want that. Not at $6 a pop. Got my fishing pole, got to untangle it, bait it, we're ready to go. If you walk all the way to the end of the pier where the octagon is, just beware that you cannot fish off the bottom there. So we came a little bit further back so we could try and fish off the bottom. Step one, untangled. Step two, I think is bait it. The instructions that they gave were to rip the head off. Ew, ew, ew. Throw the head in the water like oh. a grenade and then split the tail in half and then use only half the tail. These are pretty frozen solid. All right, head came off. Perfect, just what I needed. I'm gonna split this in half. We'll start with a big portion. I don't know how to bait a hook. I feel like it can't be that difficult, right? Famous last words. If you guys have any comments on how to actually do this, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. I think I messed that one up. Let's cast this thing. Okay. Hang on, I gotta throw my head in. Like a grenade. There we go, head is gone. Oh. Ready? Let's go, don't lose the fishing pole. Oh! <laughs> okay. Perfect. Let's try again. Take number two. All right. Now what? Do I stop it? No, let it go. Oh, all and right. now we play the waiting game. <laughs> How long before we catch the big one? I'm gonna say maybe like five to seven minutes. We'll be back in five to seven minutes. Bait got stolen. No surprise there. David uh, baited the hook for me. 
I think the bait just fell off. It's a little mushy, so be prepared. You're using frozen shrimp. Those kind of just disintegrate. So round two, let's go. Where did it go? I have no idea. Oh, it's right in front of you. Oh. Pull up a little bit. <laughs> oh, good. At least the okay. bait held on. Yeah. Five to seven minutes later, still no fish. It's already been like 35 minutes. We didn't show you all the times we put bait back on, but we're still very optimistic and hopeful that we're gonna be leaving here champions or we're gonna have to just go to a restaurant and buy food that we didn't catch, but it's not over yet. You might be out here fishing for a while, so it's good to know at the end of the pier, there are multiple restrooms. I think I failed to mention that your rental is good for all day. So we have these reels and rod until nine o'clock tonight when the pier closes. We are definitely not gonna be here that long. If you come early and you wanna fish all day, for the one price, you have that ability. Terry might have something. I think, it, I think it took the bait. Something massive. Oh, is it gone? No, it might still be there. I feel something tugging. What could it be? Oh. Oh, come on. Look at that. We got nothing. Yay. No, something was tugging on it. Yeah? Yeah. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> We're calling it a day. We fished intensely for about an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. The storm is brewing. Uh, storm warning coming in right now, lightning, rain. We gotta get out of here. So we did all we could, we caught nothing. So, so what does that mean? So we're not doing cook your catch. We are not gonna go to anglers today because we are gonna cook our catch and check that place out because it's known for having a great view. But right now I can't even see two, three feet in front of me. So we're skipping anglers. We're going to another local award-winning seafood restaurant just right across the bridge in Fort Walton Beach. We'll see you there. We made it to the Shack Waterfront Seafood Restaurant. It's been open since 1999 here in Fort Walton Beach and it's locally and veteran owned. So we are just off the island, back into Fort Walton Beach proper. And like Terry mentioned, we're at the Shack which is a locally owned veteran restaurant that's been here since 1999. And it is active and fun and people are having a good time. And it's right on the water. You have an amazing view of the sound. So you're not looking at the Gulf, but you're looking at the sound, but you can see the water, you can see the boats come and go. It's a great place, right? Centrally located off Highway 98 in Fort Walton Beach. They have lunch specials every day from 11 to three but then their prices are actually really reasonable too, especially being a tourist location, but because it's not right on Oakloos Island or in Destin, the prices are a little bit more affordable. But also of note, they have a military discount every day that's 20%, and then they have a locals discount every Wednesday that's also 20%. They have a pretty extensive menu. A lot of it is seafood focused, but they do have chicken, some burgers. Looks like they have a full bar. We're starting with the tuna dip because that was highly recommended by our server, and I love tuna dip. If you guys watched the video where we were in Destin for the the boat parade you'll know that i ate probably four pounds of tuna dip i'm hoping it's as good as the tuna dip we had at the edge seafood and then we're gonna try some of the other specialties while we're here i'm so excited the tuna dip has arrived you have not just the tuna dip but they have tomatoes onions huge slices of cucumber and then crackers for dipping so i'm gonna dive right in terry hold the mic He's building his perfect bite. A little onion, tomato. I'm gonna save the cucumber. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm gonna cut a little half cucumber here. Palate cleanser before. Cheers. What's the verdict? It's a strong tuna dip. It's smoky, fishy, but not gross fishy. It's a great, great tuna dip. And I like the accoutrements that it comes with because it kind of allows you to pick your own adventure. You want to try? Yeah. Yeah, load it up. Going cucumber heavy. She's taking a bite. She's processing the flavors and the textures. That's pretty good. That's not bad. All right, let's wait for the entrees to show up. Food came out fast. 
Super fast. And hot. Hot and fast. <laughs> like I like my food. I went with the lobster and crab cakes, and that came with a side, and I went with the coleslaw. I got the chicken tacos. It also came with a side, and I got the fries, which are kind of unique. They look like steak fries, but they're thin. Those look bomb. I better, can't wait. better start with that. Ooh. It is a super thin steak fry. I don't like steak fries because Ooh. they're so thick and fluffy. This just solved all my problems. Mm. They're seasoned nicely too. Side for mine was the coleslaw, and it's like a pretty pepper-heavy coleslaw, which I like. And uh, got a heaping bowl of this. Hmm. Wow. You gotta try that. That's delicious. Luckily. I got my own sample right here. That's really good coleslaw. It's a there's a little spice to it, but the flavor is amazing. Would recommend the coleslaw. It's really unique. Oh, it is. It is spicy. Yeah, my sandwich comes with uh, a roumelade. Ooh, little old bay, little all the things. It's quite the sandwich you got there. Dang. Can you put that in your mouth? I, you can. I might not be able to. That's thick and meaty. Getting hit with the lobster. It's breading, but it's seasoned really well. Crispy on the outsides, packed with flavor. It's time for okay. Terry's taco adventure. Pull up my sleeves for my taco taco time. Mine also has a roumelade on it. It's got chicken, lettuce, onion, tomato, and I believe some pineapple salsa. Ooh, I love pineapple salsa. It's extremely colorful, vibrant. Mm. If the flavor is only half as good as it looks, it has to be pretty good. It's really good. There's a lot of chicken on there. It's a little spicy. Yeah? I think it's the rumula, maybe. Let me try. I need this in my life. And pineapple's really fresh. Some cumin in there? Mm-hmm. That's a pretty good taco. If it was shrimp, I'd be all in. I think they might have that option. If you like this video, check out this video right here, where we checked out a bunch of fun places here in Fort Wallen Beach to pass your time on a rainy day. So thanks again for following along in this episode and join us next time when we try something else new for the first time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. First timers. High five. She felt a couple nibbles. She gave it a yank a doodle and got nothing. Redfish, tuna? Bluefish, greenfish. One fish, two fish? All the fish.